بابا مرحوم ملکہ خاتون مرحوم علی اوسط مرحوم علی حسن عابدی مرحوم اختری بیگم مرحوم زفر عباس مرحوم خیرات فاطمہ الفاتحہ اللهم العن الجبت والطاهوت بعدد ما حاط بهم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم القول مني في جميع الأشياء قول آل محمد عليه السلاة والسلام الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا بالقاسم المصطفى محمد على أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المظلومين لا سيما الحجة الثاني عشر المهدي المنتظر روحي وارواح العالمين لتراب مقدمه الفداء واللعنة الدائمة على أعدائهم ومخالفيهم ومعانديهم ومبغضيهم ومبغضي شيعتهم من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد فقد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه المجيد والفرقان الحميد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الحكيم صلوات برائے تاجیل زہور امام زمانہ کیلئے باواز بلند صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آج جیسے کہ ہم سب یہاں جمع ہوئے ہیں ایک اس آل سواب کی مجلس کے لئے تو یقیناً جو اس مجلس کا عنوان ہوگا وہ موت کے اردگرد ہوگا موت کے دائے پر ہوگا تو انشاءاللہ اسی سلسلے سے اس آئے کریمہ کو اپنا سرنام کلام قرار دیا ہے جو سور ملک کی پہلی اور دوسری آیت ہے اگر آپ کو یاد ہوگا پچھلی دفعہ جب میں نے یہی اسی اسے اس سارے ثواب کے سلسلے میں جب مجلس پڑی تھی تو پچھلی مجلس کا عنوان تھا جو آئے کریمہ ہے جس میں اللہ ارشاد فرماتا ہے بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قلو نفس دائقت الموت کہ ہر شخص ہر نفس موت کا مزہ چکے گا ٹھیک ہے اور ہم مبتلا کریں گے شر اور خیر سے تاکہ تم میں سے کون فلا پائے گا تو یہ عنوان تھا اور اس کی ذیل میں ہم نے دیکھا تھا موت کیوں ہوتی ہے اللہ نے موت کو کیوں قرار دیا ہے اسی سلسلے سے آج بڑھیں گے آج تھوڑا سا ڈیپ جائیں گے موت کے اوپر اور اس کی اس ٹاپک کے سہارے کے لئے میں نے ہمارے جو بہت ہی معروف عالم دین ہیں جن کو آپ ہر کوئی جانتا ہے اور ہر کوئی ان کی کتاب اپنے گھر میں ضرور رکھتا ہوگا علامہ شیخ عباس القومی انہوں نے ایک کتاب لکھی ہے منازل الاخرہ جو کہ انگلیش میں بھی آ چکی ہے اردو میں بھی آ چکی ہے اور یہ تو ایسی کتاب ہے کہ anybody who wants to know about the unseen that when the unseen journey starts this book is very detailed if you want to know detailed like a book that paints a picture for you what happens right after that or even before that during that this is the book that you want to look at a hadith of aima quran and even those stories that have been narrated to us by our greater scholars from before beautiful book تو یہ مناز الاخرہ میں تو انشاءاللہ اس کتاب کا سہارہ لے کے تھوڑا سا موت کے اردگرد کے موت کیا چیز ہے کیوں ہے صلی اللہ علیہ محمد و علیہ محمد سور ملک آیت نمبر ایک اور دو اللہ ارشاد فرماتا ہے blessed is he 
in whose hand is the kingdom tabarak alladhi bi yadihi almulk mubarak hai woh zat jiske haathon mein hukumat hai mulk hai haathon mein tabarak alladhi bi yadihi almulk khair aaj din bhi imam e zamana ka hai to allah haath to rakhta hai nahi to ye ek mohtarizan aap ek tohfa lete jaiye और आज क्योंकि जुम्मे का भी दिन है इमाम जमाना खुदा का हाथ है और अल्लाह क्या कहता है तबारक लदी बियद मुल्क कि जिसके हाथों में मुल्क है और इन जब इमाम आएंगे तो खुदा का हाथ बन के आएंगे और खुदा की हुकूमत इस दुनिया पे कायम करेंगे इन शाह और इसका इशारा खुदा ने खुद कुरान के अंदर सूर्य आले सूर्य आल इमरान में दिया है एक आयत में आयत मुल्क में बसमीम मालिकमल्क के अल्लाह तू मालिकमल्क है तो तिल मुल्क का मन में मंतशा और तू ये मुल्क जिसे चाहे थे भाई जब खुदा खुद कह रहा है अब कुरान की आयत में कि ये जिसे चाहे थे भाई उसकी मिल्कियत है ही इज दी ओनर ही वॉन्ट्स टू गिव एवर ही वॉन्ट्स इट He wants to take away from whoever he wants it. So, inshallah, Tabarak al-Ladhi bi yadhi al-Mulk wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Al-Ladhi khalaq al-Mauta wal-Hayata liyablu akum ayyukum ahsanu amala. Isi ayat pe maine bhi ek manlis padi thi aur kahi zakirin se apne manlis se suni hogi. Mautarizan iska yani roughly translation hi hai ke jisne maut pehle maut ko phir hayat. Al-Ladhi khalaq al-Mauta wal-Hayat. Maut ko khalaq kiya, hayat ko khalaq kiya. Kyu? ताकि टेस्ट करे तुम में से अयुकुम अहसन अमला तुम में से कौन अहसन अमल करे गुड डीज हु विच वन ऑफ यू डज गुड डीज वट डज लाइफ एंड डेथ हैव टू डू विद गुड डीज अगर बंदा मौत को अपने जहन में रखे तो जितना मौत को अपने जहन में रखेगा 24 घंटे में उतना अच्छे अमल करेगा नहीं किसको क्या मालूम आज मरू कब मरू अब मरू तब मरू तो बुरे काम से डरेगा अच्छे काम की तरफ दौड़ेगा तो मौत और हयात का और अच्छे अमल का बहुत गहरा रिश्ता है लेकिन अब मौत अल्लाह ने कहा अल्लाह दी खलक अल मौत कुछ लोग ये समझते हैं सम पीपल थिंक डेथ इज द एबसेंस ऑफ लाइफ इफ दैट्स द केस व्हाई डिड अल्लाह से अल्लाह खलक अल मौत वल हयात मौत एज अ सेपरेट क्रिएशन एंड देन लाइफ एज अ सेपरेट क्रिएशन इफ डेथ इज एबसेंस ऑफ लाइफ व्हाई डिड अल्लाह मेंशन इट एज अ सेपरेट क्रिएटेड बीइंग देन व्हाट इज डेथ इफ डेथ is not absence of life then what is it death is nothing but a divorce it's a divorce of the soul from your body that's it maut usko hum urdu mein aur kya kehte hain intiqal intiqal ka aur kya matlab nikalta hai muntaqil hona to transfer that is a way of transferring wow how do you transfer you need to first let go of one place or be separated from one place this act of separation is maut maut is nothing but a divorce this is not me this is sheikh abbas al qumi he this alim is saying that death is not absence of life rather it is a divorce अगर एबसेंस ऑफ लाइफ होती डेथ तो मरने यानी थिंग्स दैट से वुड हैव बीन राइट देन आफ्टर डेथ देर इज नथिंग यू गो इन टू नथिंगनेस अदम राइट मौत अगर अदम का मकसद होता तो फिर मौत के बाद योमल कियामत अजाब कब्र इसका फिर मकसद ही क्या है वेन आई डोंट वेन आई सीज टू एग्जिस्ट वेन आई नो लॉन्गर आई एम अ लाइव वट्स द पॉइंट ऑफ अजाब कब्र एन ऑल ऑफ दैट having a life beyond this world means i have to go into another realm 
This moat is a way. It is a way that I move from this world to the next world. How do I do that? I first have to separate from this something that is holding me on to this world, which is my body. So death is nothing but separation of the soul from the body. One other thing, one other misconception some, some of us think, that Ruh badal mein hai. Nahi. There is a connection, but there is nowhere it stated that Ruh badal ke andar hai. Some, some people might think, Quran ke andar jo ayat hai, Allah jab Hazrat Adam ke khilkat ke baare mein, Khuda ne kaha ke, nafakhtu fihi min ruhi. Mene ruh phuki, ruh phuki, right? Blue air. Can you say that air can be constricted in one's body? Let's say Allah says he blew spirit. So it's some form of air kind. Can you contain air in one's body? No, it's gas. Yes, you inhale, exhale, but you can confine it in this body. There is a connection of the soul with the body, but it's not inside. Another thing. Once you divorce from your body, you become immortal. How? Especially the believers and even the disbelievers. Mumin ho ya munafiq ho ya kafir ho mushrik ho. Maut ke baad hi hayat, yani true hayat hai. Isliye to yani one of the reasons why Allah kehta hai Allah di khalaq al maut wa al hayat. Pehle maut phir hayat. Kyunki haqiqi hayat to tab realization mein aayegi ki jab tum maroge. First divorce yourself from this place, then you will see what true, true being is, what the true realm is. When you look at the true realm, when we go back to the true realm, when we go back, we'll have, you know, <laughs> you know, especially there are some movies, you know, many of you, many of you have, might have seen. Mad scientists show karte who are running behind what? Finding the secret form formula for immortality. You know what the secret formula for immortality is? Die. That's all. You want to be immortal? Die. How do I say that? Kyo aisa kehto? Marne ke baad, jab yom al qiyamat mein Allah maapas mashur gare hai. Ek to hum kabar mein jayenge. Kabar mein ek, it's like a waiting period. Once you wait, you wait for the day of judgment to come, Sur Phuka Jaga, everybody dies another death, which is going to be a true death in its form that we understand. Fana. Like how we job Surah Rahman me parte. Kulluman alayha fan. Fana ho jana. Extinguishing from this creation. Then Allah will bring back to life. Then that is going to be the ever life, ever living life. Because you're going to stay forever. Khalidina fiha abada. Abada, forever. Yani you will become Hai. You know, Allah is one of the name of Allah is Hai, the ever living. Or the one who constantly lives. You also will become Hai, as in you're going to stay forever. Khalidina fiha abada. Whether it's in Nar or whether it's in Jannatin Tajri, whether it's in paradise or whether it's in hellfire, you're gonna stay forever. And one of the narration narrates clearly that jab ek mu'min dakhil hoga jannat mein, Allah khat likhega apne ek guest ko, jo mu'min jab jannat mein aayega, to Allah ek letter likhega. Or letter, how is it going to be addressed? To the ever living, to the high, my create, my creation, my Abd, the ever living, from the ever living creator. Because then the only distinguishing will be the creator and the created. He is also going to be high, we will also become high with his permission. The process of death. It is narrated. That when Rasulullah jab Miraj par gaye, to kya dekha? Israel, Malakul Maut. <laughs> you know, today we see technology, 
you go into some security centers itne sare monitor lage hote you know you can see everything happening and then sometimes you know with all these things all these buttons you can control doors security panels you know okay you see okay this person is having one place you have this whole control panel you're controlling the whole thing israel has a huge control center where he sits and he has these names on these uh what do you call boards or monitors you might say takht pe tablet pe sare naam likhe hue logo ke jab khuda chahta hai ki kisi ko maut mile allah us shakhs ke naam ko wahan se hata deta hai israel ko malakul maut ko pata chalta hai okay is bande ka time aa gaya hai and then he takes that person's life अब ये बंदा सोचेगा ठीक है एक बंदे का हुआ दो बंदे का हम लोग यू नो इफ वी थिंक के यू नो इसराइल ही कोस वॉट टू वन पर्सन टेक्स इज सो लाउड लेकिन एक वक्त में कितने सारे लोग मरते हैं दुनिया में तो इतने सारे लोगों का किस तरह करता होगा तो इसका एक अच्छा एग्जांपल दिया है शेख अब्बास ने भले दस पंद्रह कैंडल्स जलाओ कैन वन पर्सन एक्सटिंग्विश ऑल ऑफ दीज एडवांस यस जोर से फूको you can you can blow multiple candle at once yeah. now it depends how much kitni taqat quwwat tumhare paas hai israel mujh jaisa to ekdam weak kisam ka to aadmi hai nahi ki main karte karte bhi main do ya teen se zyada candle nahi phoon sakta lekin israel is israel that's why he is israel angel of death but another thing is eh bechara israel hamesha मौत की बिकॉज मलकुल मौत है ही कम्स एंड बिकमिंग द एनिमी बिकॉज शी इज द वन हु कम्स एंड टेक्स लाइफ बट दैट्स नॉट द केस इफ वी मेक हिम आवर फ्रेंड द बेस्ट फ्रेंड ही विल बी बेस्ट फ्रेंड बेसिक एग्जांपल स्पेशली हम लोग जो पाकिस्तान या इंडिया जहां पे ये सिफारिश और वास्ते बहुत चलते हैं अगर एक ऐसी जगह है अभी जैसे आप पाकिस्तान जाओ लेट से एक्सपायर्ड पासपोर्ट है वो पाकिस्तान में तो ये होता है लेकिन वो पासपोर्ट कंट्रोल में आपका कोई जानने वाला नहीं गया ओ सलाम वालेकुम भाई साहब कैसे यार तो पासपोर्ट एक्सपायर हो गया भाई लेकिन कंट्री में आने का आप कुछ कर देंगे हाँ आप साहब आप फिक्र नहीं कर आइए आप चाय पिए आप ये लिए ये लीजिए आप ये लिए थप्पा आप फिक्र नहीं करिए चलिए बिस्मिल्ला हो गया काम वाय दोस्ती पहचानी है राइट When you want to enter into a place, या एग्जिट कर लो कि भाई निकलने का है ड्यूएल पासपोर्ट है जा रहे अमेरिका अमेरिकन पासपोर्ट है पाकिस्तानी पासपोर्ट है हाँ आए थे पाकिस्तानी पासपोर्ट पर निकल रहे वो सो जाए जानने वाले ना आपको मसला नहीं तो मलकुल मऊत स्टैंडिंग इन दैट डोर एग्जिटिंग फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड एंटरिंग इन टू दैट नेक्स्ट मेक गुड फ्रेंड्स विथ हिम जब वो आएगा हाँ असल क्या है माई ब्रदर यार डोंट वरी एवरी थिंग इज रेडी फॉर यूर कम कम दैट्स वॉट वी नीड टू डू एंड दैट्स वाई ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डेथ इज इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट सल मोहम्मद अब टाइप्स ऑफ डेथ किस तरह की मौत है ये तो हमने कितनी बार सुना होगा काफी रवायत में एक तो ये कि अगर कोई काफिर की काफिर है या कोई मुनाफिक है तो कुछ रवायत में ऐसा है कि ऐसे बंदे को जब मलकुल मौत आके रूह खींचता है तो इट इज एज इफ यू पुट ए स्मूथ सिल्क क्लॉथ ऑन अ कैक्टिस प्लांट एंड यू स्टार्ट स्लोली पुलिंग इट द वे हाउ यू सी रिप एंड श्रेड इन टू पीसेस दैट्स हाउ द पर्सन विल फील when his soul will leave his body for some narrations it's mentioned like the believers the shias that malakul maut you will come here rose i brought a nice flower from paradise from you the person will smell it inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi raji that's it you know it's like uh, you see wo kya bolte hai chloroform ya kya hota hai wo jo किसी को अगर बेहोश करना क्लोरोफोन चिपका दो थोड़ा सा सूंगा ने तो वो क्या नहीं पता नहीं शायद क्लोरोफोन वाला कोई फूल लेके आएगा सूंग लो एंड देन बिस्मिल्लाह यू आर इन द नेक्स्ट फ्रेंड 
It's going to be that easy. You won't even know. No pain, nothing. It's as easy. What kind of death are we going to get? That is the question. There are two theories. A mu'min and for a kafir or a munafiq. Each will get either one. Two types of death, right? Now it depends. A mu'min can get a bad death, like the ones that feels like scissors cutting you up. And the case scenario where a mushrik or a munafiq ko a cheap mouth milti hai. Ekdam aasan si mouth. Yani bande ko nazar aar ekdam aasan mouth mara. Easy death. And there is another case scenario where a mu'min gets a good death. And munafiq or kafir gets the bad death. Very slow, painful. What's the reasoning behind each of these case scenarios? Simple. Hadith, riwayat, ayat. They summarize this. If a mu'min gets a bad death, it's because he has some remaining sins and Allah wants to purify him before he goes in the presence of Allah to meet him. Allah says, oh my servant, little, little more pain. Let me purify you so that I might see you purified of all sins. That's it. Little bit more. And for the munafiq and kafir easy death, it's like, even in this world, little bit, jitna bhi tumne achche kaam kiye, let this be the recompense, the good recompense that I can give you as much as I can in this world, so that nothing but punishment should wait you in the next world. Jitna bhi achche kaam kiye, you gave in charity, all of this, let me give you a good death. Achche, aasan mot maro. Lekin vahaan pe lies azaab al alima. The flip side, second case scenario, a mu'min who does istighfar every Thursday night, does dua kumail, anytime, if even by, mist if by mistake he sees, that he, he sees that himself, you know, he has committed sins. And every day he does muhasabah and sees, okay, you know, today I committed this sin. And he keeps doing istighfar, that by the time death approaches him, he doesn't have any sins left. Yani he's already clean. Allah says, you know what? I'll come. Malakul Maut comes, comes, gives him a hug, Eid Mubarak, and that's it. You're done. There's no more sin to pay off. There's no kafara for any sin. On the other hand, there might be some munafiq, some koi aise kafir hongi ki jinnon itne guna ki hai. Jaysay Yazid hai, Abu Bakr, Umar, all of these. Agar aap inke jaan kani ki halat padho, the regrets that they showed because the amount of pain they were in. Why? The amount of sins jitne guna pile up kiye the ke we are like <laughs> there is not much anything we can do. The sooner the azab starts because there is no room left to yani Allah bole ke ab main kitna chhodu tumko. Tumne jagah hi nahi chhodi hai ke main tumhe yani thoda sa bhi jaane do. Abhi se azab shuru hoga. That's why they get the painful death. And then, who gives the death? There are three ayats. In one place, Allah says, I am the giver of death. I am the taker of life. This is in Surah Zumar, ayat number 42. However, in Surah Sajda, ayat number 11, Allah says, the angel of death, Israel takes Life. Now, some people who jo question karte na ki ya Ali madad ke na Imam Hussain se tum risk mangte ho ye ki ye to risk razik to Allah hai. Allah razik hai. Allah madad karne wala hai. Ye ya Ali ke na ya Hussain ke what is this? To main bhi puchunga. Maud dene wala to Allah hai. پھر اللہ خود اپنے آپ کو کانٹریڈک کیوں کر رہا ہے ایک جگہ کہتا ہے میں ڈیتھ دینے والا ہوں پھر ایک جگہ کہتا ہے نہیں ملک الموت ڈیتھ دینے والا ہے پھر سورہ نہر ٹوئنٹی ایٹ میں کہتا ہے گروپ آف اینجلز ہیں کہ جو آ کر موت دیتے ہیں یا اللہ یعنی نعوذ باللہ نعوذ باللہ کیا خدا کنفیوز ہو گیا ہے گوڈ ڈزن نو نعوذ باللہ ہی نوز ون ایک کن بی ایٹریبیوٹیڈ تو منی پیپل اٹس جس لائک ان ارگنائزیشن ہائرکی Allah is like the CEO. He, he gives the verdict. Then he has subordinates that carry out. 
मैनेजर इज इज राइट इज द मैनेजर लाइक ओके यू गो यू टेक ये तुम इसकी रू निकालोगे और तुम जो है तुम इसकी रू कब्ज करो तुम इसकी रू कब्ज करो तुम इसकी अच्छा मैं जो है दिस इज वी आई पी पीपल आई विल पर्सनली गो बट देर आर सर्टन वी आई पी पीपल के जिनके लिए इसराइल भी कहते हैं यू नॉट आई एम ऑल्सो नो बडी नाउ देर इज इन रेशन मैं मसाइड नहीं पढ़ना चाहता एंड सूर्य फजर इज गवाह टू दिस फॉर अबा अब्दुल्लासैन नरेशन स्टेट or from what i've heard from zakirin malakul maut comes and then he screams to allah ya allah from where do i begin there is no place other than wounds on the body of hussein where should i begin there is no space for me allah says malakul maut you just have to come for protocol hussein is mine i will personally come to welcome him and hence सलमान फारसी What's up? Uh, let's go. But then Salman says, "Listen, when Imam Ali comes, I want to go back." He's like, "Okay, go back." Haven't we heard? When Imam Ali, Salman ki mayat pe aate, Salman gets up. It is in narrations. Salman gets up from death. He comes back to life just to pay his respect to Imam Ali. How does he have this control over his own death? Friends with Malakul Maut, easy. You, if Salman can do it, why can't we? Salman, Allah ne Salman ko chauda masumin mein nahi karar diya. Salman was not born masum. Salman became Salman to become an example for us that you and I can also become Salman. Not give excuses. Oh, he was Salman Farsi. How can we become? No, let me say Allah is Ghafur Rahim. By the way, whoever sins with this excuse, Allah is Ghafur Rahim. Know that Allah has 89 or 98 other names, and half of them are known as His Jalali names. One of His is Muntaqim, Al Jalal, Al Muntaqim, the Punisher. So, if you stick to only two names, uh, Allah Ghafur, Allah Rahim, what about the others? You know, who did Allah create Jahannam for? Just like that. ऑन द डे ऑफ जजमेंट इज गल यू नो अगर थोड़ी ठंडी लगेगी उधर जन्नत में तो दिस इज जस्ट अटर नो देर आर पीपल बर्ड देर सो गिविंग एक्सक्यूज ऑफ अल्लाह गफूर रहीम एंड ओपनली सिंग नो कैन हेल्प वी नीड टू कीप दिस इन माइंड महम्मद वाल महम्मद नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू फॉर अस कि दोस्ती करें मलकुल मौत से इट्स को नी हिपोक्रेसी मुनाफिकत होगी कि हम किसी से मोहब्बत करें लेकिन उसके प्रोफेशन से नफरत करें wow. है कि नहीं द की थिंग इज लविंग डेथ बिकॉज वेन यू लव समथिंग यू यर्न फॉर इट सिंपल हाउ डू यू लव इट अंडरस्टैंड डेथ बिकॉज Why do people hate death? Two reasons. One, because they fear it. Why? Because of their own sins. Two, again, they fear it. Why? Because of the unknown. But then the answer has already been given to you. For number one, stop doing sins. And if you end up committing sins, do istighfar. And for number two. Read a hadith of Ahlul Bayt. Read books like Manazul Akhirah. Familiarize yourself with what's gonna come. Wow. So when you already know, अगर आप यानी पहली बार कोई बंदा कोई एयरपोर्ट पे जाता है, I travel a lot. First time I went to Detroit airport, I was like, okay, looking where is baggage claim, terminal number three. You're gonna be lost. You don't know. Connecting flight है. You're like worried. पता नहीं flight lose हो जाएगी नहीं. But if you're frequent traveler like like me, I keep 
uh, you know, flying through uh, Chicago. As soon as I land, okay, I'm at B26, my uh, C26, I know. I start running. I know exactly where I need to go. You know, make a left here, make a right here. You know. If not, if you're not being there, you look at a map, right? Okay. My gates in Niklunga, I'll make a right and then I make a left here. Simple. Rasulullah, when he went to Mi'raj, he saw all of that. He came, he mentioned to us, we have narrations, Imam Ja'far Sadiq, all of these. All of these heavenly people, the heavenly guides, they came, they drew us a map. Malakul Maut aayega, aisa karega, ye hoga, wo hoga. Agar ye nahi karna hai, if you want to be safe from this, do this. Simple, do's and don'ts. Follow that, that's your map. Nothing to be afraid of. Be a friend for death. Love of this world is another reason which causes hatred of death. Wow. This is the third. Jitni, jitna humne apne aap ko invest kiya is dunya mein. Wow. Let's say, main kal ja ke nahi Mercedes GL, you know, showroom se nikalo. As soon as mere ko chaadi mile showroom se, you know, I go and I sit there malakul mauta that. अभी आना था इतनी मेहनत की इतना कमाया अब जाकर ये मर्सिडीज मेरे को मिली तुमको अभी आना था पांच मिनट नहीं वेट कर सकते मैं कम से कम गाड़ी स्टार्ट करके एक टेस्ट ड्राइव ले लेता अभी आना था तुमको व्हाट इज दिस पर्सन गेट्स मैरिड हाँ निकाह पड़ा गया टुडे यू नो आई गोट मैरिड उसी रात को लेट्स गो आज ही आना था इतने साल वो कुआरा था तब नहीं आए आज ही आना था तुमको या एक दिन वेट नहीं कर सकते थे कल नहीं आ सकते थे तुम यू कुन कम टुमारो लव ऑफ दिस दुनिया इट्स एन इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप द मोर यू लव दिस वर्ल्ड द मोर यू गन हेट डेथ हाउ डू यू फिक्स दिस हेट दिस वर्ल्ड but live in it because this world is where you create your akhirat again islam is not about extremism islam is about balance right ahl al-bayt have taught us balance imam musa qadim in one of his narrations beautifully explains he says do not neglect your akhirat for this dunya nor neglect your dunya for your akhirat simple balance in another narration one masoom says prepare for your akhirat as if you're gonna die in the next hour or you're gonna die tonight and prepare for your world as if you're gonna live for a million years keep a balanced life simple you have 24 hours take out some time you know you have work that's also ibadat by the way Earning halal living, it's ibadat. You take out some time for workout, okay. Take out some time for, you know, relaxing with the family. You know, thoda sa time with the family. You're doing your silat or raham. Take out some time, you know, watch some shows that might at least even give you some, uh, you, you might get some uh, um, information out of it and some entertainment out of it. Keep yourself happy. Islam doesn't say be depressed all your life. No. Happy mind, happy life. Be positive. And to be positive, thoda sa entertainment, as long as it's lawful, do it. Entertain in moderate quantities, do it. As long as it's lawful. When you balance your life, this is what Imam Ali said on his deathbed. What was one of his wasiyat? Allah, Allah, fi nazme amrikum. I... I am doing wasiyat to you. Allah, Allah means strong stress. Please discipline your life. Discipline your life. Sallu ala Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam. Love of life. What does Quran say? Surah Tawbah, Surah Barat, ayat number 38. Allah says, are you contented with this life? of this world instead of the hereafter? 
rhetorical question. Allah is asking us humans, really? This is what it is? That's why when Malakul Maut comes, he's like the biggest monster you see. Why? Because you don't want to go with him. You're not ready. All your life you've been preparing for this world. We even if we call ourselves businessmen, we are the worst businessmen ever. We are investing our life in a transit world and not a single penny or very rarely we invest in a permanent abode. It's like, you know, me, I'm traveling, let's say, you know, I'm migrating from here to, you know, let's say I'm going to uh, first place X, but I'm transiting in place Y. Now in place Y, I'm going to stay there for 10 hours. I have like $10,000. I go there while I'm in place Y, I spend all of those ten thousand dollars over there. Or let's say I spend nine thousand dollars there. Oh this you know there's a nice hotel for this ten hours I want to be in, you know, nice Sheraton hotel, five star, seven star, whatever, this eat food, this that. Remaining I barely have a thousand or five hundred. When I reach the actual place, I don't have a place to live, nothing, I have one thousand dollars. How 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 much is that gonna how much good is that going to do me and for how long? Do we actually want to end up beggars in paradise? Yes, love of Ahlul Bayt is going to get us paradise. Allah says, Jannat is wajib. Okay, Jannat wajib ho gayi. Ab Jannat bita ke kya karo ge? Peek maange ge hum log. Are we going to beg over there? Or do we need to make something? And by the way, Many people, like some of us think that Shafat, okay, Ahl al-Bayt are going to do Shafat. What does Shafat mean? Very good example, me and my father were discussing. He gave me a very good example. Something that we can relate to. What if Shafat, we metaphorize it, how can we truly metaphorize it? Shafat is nothing but towing, Ahl al-Bayt towing us to paradise. But it requires two conditions. Good horsepower in the towing agent, which Ahlul Bayt have. Zarbatu Aliyin Yom Al Khandak Afdal Min Ibadat Sakalain. So if Mujh Jaisa Bhikari ke paas ek bhi do rakat namaz dhang ki nahi hogi, to Imam Ali bolenge, "Chal, main tere ko chande mein main tere ko sixty years ki main namaz mein apni de deta hu ja." He can do that because one zarbat he has Afdal Min Ibadat Sakalain, and more than that, how many namazes Imam Ali has given? He can give khairat of his. Uh, thawab to you know to us so that we can go to paradise but let me ask you, ask you this towing agent is powerful but in order to be towed I need to have a hook agar mera hook weak hai Imam Ali tries to pull me but the hook breaks am I going to be pulled into paradise what do I require hold on what does Allah say Hold on, hold on. Hold on to the rope of Allah and do not divide. <laughs> People say do not divide, but this is among Muslims. No, no, no. Hablallah is Amir al Mu'minin. Allah says hold on to the wilayat of Amir al Mu'minin and do not divide. As in, you Shias don't kill each other, unite with each other. We are thinking about uniting with other sects and within us we are. Killing this, uh, backbiting this, ye aisa hai, wo aisa hai. No. Holding on to Ahl al Bayt. The stronger you hold, the more chances we have that Ahl al Bayt can pull us. That's the thing. And one of the ways we can strongly hold on to Ahl al Bayt is by showing us in our actions. Ya Abu Abdullah, I love you. How? When I go crazy on Ashura. I, this is love. When you love someone and you see them or if you hear that they were slaughtered, you're gonna go crazy. That's it, you go nuts. When someone says, this guy is crazy, any love story you pick up, Leila Majnu or Romeo and Juliet, in some eyes of sanity, they are considered insane. Well, once you become insane for Hussein, know that you have hold on to Hussein. That's all you need. Go crazy for a little bit. And you know that you have strongly hold on to, on to them. Sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad wa alayhi Muhammad.
Rasulullah say about love of dunya? He says, verily, the love of this world is the root cause of every evil. Yani, we want to flourish even in this world. Love of this dunya, that's the root. Pluck it from there and that's it. Everything else is good. What did Imam Ali do? Imam Ali did what? Eh, dunya, talaq, talaq, talaq. Dunya ko talaq diya, right? Chew. Dunya is something good? No. You treat it like it's divorce. Divorce it. That doesn't mean... Now, again, Imam Ali gave all of these pre-tier teachings to us, but that doesn't mean that hum kal ja ke, you know, uh, khade hoi kapde pen ke, Allahu, Allahu, no, 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 no. Sufis are not in us. That is a cursed religion that Ahl al have said, stay away from these people. You don't need to go in some corner and do Allahu, no, no. That's not what means hate this dunya. Hate means do not develop a relationship with it. Why? So that tomorrow if your Lord comes with an invitation knocking, Oh my servant, come. You want to come meet me? You're like, you know what? Mercedes Benz ho ke fa, kya bolte, penthouse ho ke million dollar ka house ho, whatever it is. Kick it. Islam doesn't say you can't have good things. Have good things. Just do not develop an attachment. Have. Have the best of car. Nobody is stopping you. As long as you don't build relationship with it. As in when the invitation from your Lord comes. Oh my servant, come. Come to me. You're like, Labbaik. Allahumma labbaik. I am releasing everything and I'm coming to you. And that's when death is going to be easier. You know why? Because when you have nothing to hold on to in this dunya, Malakul Maut is going to come and pull you. You're like, you know what? Come pull me. You know what? I'm going to be given coming faster. There is no friction. When is there pain in death? When there is friction. When you're trying to hold on to this dunya and Malakul Maut says, no, you have to come. That's when this friction is caused. To reduce that friction, let go of this dunya. It's that simple. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If anything, hold on to the rope of Allah. Simple. Friendship with that. What is it going to give us? An opportunity of meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you look at death this way, you can build a friendship. This is the portal. Like imagine when you're going to Pakistan. You have, you're meeting cousins or you're, you know, uh, meeting your brother, sister, whatever. You're at the passport, long line, but you're like, you know what? Line to anybody. You are anxious. You just want to cross this line. Quickly grab your bag and go there so you can meet. Once you know that beyond this death is meeting with Allah, you're going to be anxious. Malakul Maut, what are you looking at my face? Come on, quickly. I want to meet my Lord. It eases and plus you start looking forward to it. What? When you yearn to meet a friend, you prepare for him, right? Now you know, you want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to make friends with that. You want to yearn to meet it. So you're going to prepare, right? Agar ghar pe kisi ko daawat diya hai, mai zini bolenge, assalamu alaikum, aayye, chai pe aayye, bismillah, aayye, aayye. Aate hai, ganti bajate hai, हम कराटे मार के सो अच्छा आप अभी आ गए तो इनविटेशन किस लिए दी थी आपने तैयारी तो की नहीं ना चाय पिलाया ना पानी कुछ नहीं किया क्या मेहमान नवाजी की आपने कुछ तैयारी तो की नहीं राइट तो इफ वी आर यर्निंग इफ वी आर वेटिंग व्हाट आर वी सपोज्ड टू डू प्रिपेयर हाउ डू यू प्रिपेयर फॉर डेथ सिंपल डेली मेक श्योर दैट यू आर डूइंग दैट that when death comes to you, now or in an hour, you know or at least have hope that you're going to be saved. Again, another narration, Ahlul Bayt say what? A mu'min is someone who always lives in hope and fear. Be hopeful. Be hopeful of the shafa'at of Ali Muhammad. Be hopeful of the mercy of Allah. But then I don't even need to mention separately. 
Shafaat of Ahl al-Bayt is in a form a mercy of Allah. If he hadn't been merciful enough to give us these merciful people to to us with them, where would we be? Our, based on our namaz? Our namaz? That namaz when we say Allahu Akbar. Chai chula jala hai. Chula jala hai ya mene ban kar diya. Ya wo hisab kitab ye. Usko mene ko 500 dollar dene thi. Mene diye thi ki nahi diye thi. Allah ye abhi hone wala hai. Wo Allah. This is our namaz. Ya Allah Akbar. Abhi wo game shuru hone wali hai. Pakistan India ki chaldi se Allah. Allah. Ye to mani namaz hai. Is namaz ke basis pe we're gonna go to paradise? Allah takes that namaz and on your face. Don't need your prayers. This is this is the attention you give me. If I come and start talking to you, Salam alaikum, how are you? Yes, 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 yes. You're gonna be like, what are you crazy? You come and you talk to me and then you start insulting me by looking here and there. This is what we do. We go into a meeting to Allah, we say Allahu Akbar and then we insult him. This kind of insulting meeting, one after the other, based on this, we're going to go to paradise? No. The one who, when he meets his Lord, Allah says, Ah, bah, bah. Then when, you know, the likes of Ali ibn Abi Talib says, Oh, my generous Lord. He loves me. Let him go. Allah says, because you say Ali, I let him go. Let him go. Why? Because they worship Allah the way He deserves to be worshipped. Without tawassul, without shafaat, forget Jannat. Forget it. Become an atheist, that's better for you because at least you can have benefits of this life. Go and join this world. If you don't believe in shafaat or tawassul, I beg you at least have fun in this world because you're not going to get cut in the next world. Nothing you're going to get. Sallallahu Muhammad wa and once you're ready and the call of the Lord comes, what happens? You're going to be ready to receive it with open arms. Many other things I'll just keep skipping. What happens at the time of death? What happens at the time of death? One thing. What makes it painful, as I mentioned, regret of leaving behind wealth and scared of entering in an unknown place. Another, this is something that we can be hopeful for. There is a narration in Bihar, Volume 3, narrated from Imam al Rada. <laughs> who, when he went to one of his Ashab, he goes to meet one of his Ashab was about to die. Jan Kani ke halat mein tha, Imam e Raza ka ek sahabi, aur Imam usse milne jate hain. To Imam usse puchte hain. Nahi, wo Imam se, Imam ki taraf dekh kar Imam se bulta hai. I see the radiant faces of your grandfather, Rasulullah, your father, Amir al-Mu'mineen, your mother, Fatima al-Zahra, and the... Allah. And the other Imams in your ancestry. And I also see your luminous face amongst them. Imam, two places at once. When he's dying, he's seeing the luminous faces. Nurani ziyarat kar raha hai, Chorda Masumin ka. Imam Ali Raza ki nurani ziyarat bhi ho rahi hai aur badani ziyarat bhi ho rahi hai two places at once well if the grandfather Ali can do it why can't the grandson Ali do it if he if Imam Ali Amir al-Mumin was at 40 places at once what difficult it is for his grandson to do it what difficult it is for the 12th Imam to do it what difficult it is when you say, Ya Sahib Zaman in this corner of the world, someone else screams, Ya Sahib Zaman on the other. He helps you and he helps that. How difficult it is for them. We can't understand them. 
زیارت جامعہ سے استعطا کلو شریف لشرفکم و بخا کلو متکبر لطاعتکم یعنی جس عقل the more you try to think of اہل البیت it's just gonna go down you can't understand them if زیارت جامعہ is for some people unauthentic then I'll bring a authentic unanimously accepted narration from Rasulullah where he clearly says Ya Ali no one knows you except Allah and me nobody knows Allah except me and you and nobody knows me except you and Allah now if you claim that I know Ahl al-Bayt liar simple nobody can know Ahl al-Bayt Rasulullah in a unanimously accepted hadith said it now Ziyarat al-Jami'ah goes much deep that you can't it's too far above for us to understand. So, what? Ahl al-Bayt come. Just for us? No. Imam Ali, in one narration to one of his companions says, Ya Hari Hamdan, Man yamut yarani, Whosoever dies sees me. Mu'min, Kafir, Mushrik, Whosoever. Why? He's the face of Allah. You want to know how your future is going to be in the next realm? As soon as you start dying and you see the face of Allah, aka Imam Ali, if he's smiling, no paradise for you. Alhamdulillah. If he's frowning, that's it. Khalidina fiha abada. So Munafiq and Mushrik, Imam Ali come, so he can show his frown. That's it. Allah is decreed. For you, Jahannam Khalidina fiha abada. For Mu'min, Imam Ali comes. My loved one, you kept doing dhikr of Ali in this world, come, let me, let me show you my face, let, you came, you did my ziyarat in Najaf, come, today I have come to meet you now. I am coming to do your ziyarat. One thing in our community, try your best to do and go for ziyarat as much as you can. We all take our time for going out, meeting our families, we take our time for vacations. I'm sorry. But do we actually believe our Imams are dead? Because that's what happens. 1400 years ago, Imam Hussein came and that's it. We hear and we say, Nara had, you know, uh, those who are, uh, who are, who die the death of being Shaheed, they are alive. We hear all of these ayat, but do we truly believe in them? Do we truly believe in them? Allah says they are alive. If you have your fa father, brother, mother and sister, they're alive. You have a right that you go and meet them. This is your Imams. We have a right we need to go and meet them. By the way, us going and meeting them, who is it going to benefit? Imam Hussein going to get something from us going and visiting him? No. We are showing our love. We are holding on. Ya Ba Abdullah, I've come here, Labbaik. I have come here to hold on to you. What other things during the time of death? Two more things and inshallah I wrap up. Very important thing. Ahl al Bayt come and what? Shaitan also comes. A shaitan says, Sari Zindagi agar mene ab gumra kiya ni kiya, isne istighfar kar liya ni kiya. Akhrit, this is my last chance. اگر اس ٹائم پہ میں نے اس کو گمراہ کر دیا that's it پھر تو خالی دینا فیہا بدا that's it اگر میں اس ٹائم پہ آ کر if I am successful that's it one more with me thank you come with me welcome جہنم he comes he comes with his supporters and that's when he brings his nukes واللہ if you think that there are certain times you feel so pressured to sinning because شیطان is doing وسواس if you have experienced nothing at the time of death, it's going to be at its utmost peak. Especially those who are weak in their faith. Because at that time, he can't stop you from doing good work. What are you going to do with good work? He's going to come and start making you doubt Allah and the rest of the <coughs> Ahl al-Bayt and the Imams and all of the usul e Beliefs, he comes and he attacks your beliefs. Because if you die a munafiq or a kafir, that's it, done deal. That's why we have du'as like du'a al adila That whole du'a you read, what does it say? And one of the du'a al adila sagheera that many of us have heard, 
that it's recommended to recite after every obligatory period. What? Radiyatu billahi rabban wa bil islami dino. You're actually ye talqin ki andar bhi jo hum log padte hain. Why? You know, talqin is not only supposed to be recited after barrier. Also, dua adila, which is a form of talqin during a person when a person is dying, so that you reinstate that belief. So if shaitan comes to do viswas. You are helping that dying person. No, say Allah is your Lord. Say Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is your messenger. Allah 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 Ali is your wali. Say the Fatima is your lady of light. Is your hujja. Some scholars have said in order for you to be careful. Because Shaitan's attack was will be on its peak. The way to prepare for this is make sure for every precept of beliefs like Tawheed, Nabuwat, Adalat, Qiyam, you make sure that you have proofs for yourself. Prove to yourself that Allah is one. Logically, study, understand. Blind faith ni Allah ek hai, kyunke meri amma ne kaha tha. Allah just hai, kyunke meri amma ne kaha tha. चौदह मास मिले क्योंकि मम्मा ने मेरे को बचपन से सिखा है कि अल्लाह एक पंचतन पांच इमाम बारह मासूम चौदह नहीं ये काम नहीं आएगा ब्लाइंड फेथ इज नॉट हेल्प यू नो वाई देर इज वन गॉड नो वाई देर एग्जिस्ट अ गॉड नो वाई अली इज योर वाली नॉट अबू बखर नो विथ प्रूफ विथ लॉजिक नो वाई so that when shaitan comes and says no no ali is not your wali <laughs> seriously you want me to stop you want me to open bukhari right now in front of you is like okay wrong person i'm messing with he comes and say you know what allah does not exist He's like seriously you want to debate me come i challenge you during that challenge shaitan make yourself that strong in your faith learn about your religion the way so that no one can make you or take you lead you astray from this <laughs> last which sometimes i've seen this people do it out of ignorance dying person or after a person is dead please make sure those people who are in najasat stay away the women who are on their monthly periods and their najis times and any other hadith akbar if you are in najasat stay away from the dying person or a person who is dead because angels if they have come to support and help that person they run away by you being in their presence if you are najis and you go closer to them angels go away so the support and help they are getting from angels they stop getting it how do we know this I leave the reference. If anybody wants me, they can ask me. And everything is there in Manazul Akhirah. You can read the whole story. There was a scholar. I think Sheikh Muhammad Hussain Qazmini. Sheikh Muhammad Hussain Qazmini. During the time when there was an epidemic in Najaf, so there was a youth. He came to him. He says, Sheikh, I don't know. I'm sick. I might die. But I have a request. I want you to personally lead my namaz e janaza, and alone. Not like how you do jamaat. Like two, three. दो तीन मुर्दों के आप एक साथ नमाज जनाजा पढ़ते हो नहीं मेरा अलग अलग से आप उन्होंने बोला अच्छा ठीक है आई प्रॉमिस यू नेक्स्ट डे उसका छोटा सा एकदम बच्चा आता है कहता है मेरा बाप जो कल आया था आपके पास ही इज पास अवे और ही इज अबाउट टू डाई ही इज अबाउट टू डाई ही इज वेरी सिक एंड ही इज ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट टू डाई सो हिम एंड फ्यू अदर पीपल गो वाइल और दे आर ऑन दर वे अस पर्सन इज कमिंग आउट ऑफ हिस हाउस As soon as he coming out of the house, you know, Sheikh and them they meet. So he says, "Where are you going, Sheikh?" Or Sayyid, you know, you know, there's this person. He's going, you know, he's in his last ages, last times of his death. He says, "Okay, you know, it's mustahab. It's it's highly recommended that you know you go, you support." So he also came. As soon as they all entered, but when this particular, he was a pious person. When he entered, the dying person. he he started despising and he even though this this person did not know this pious person who entered he, he started feeling uneasy and he he started like go away get away from me so that pious person understood he left quickly after half an hour an hour he comes back as soon as he comes back now this person welcomes him 
Later, this person who was with the Shaykh asks him, he says, what did you do when you went? That first he was abhorring you and then he started liking you. Well, like if it would have been enmity, if he was your enemy, he wouldn't have liked you anyways, whether you came back later. He says, I was in the state of Najasat and I found out that he's feeling uneasy, so I quickly left. I did my ghusl and I came back. And actually, when I was leaving my house, when we met, when you were leaving for this person's house, I was actually leaving with the intention of doing ghusl at the public bathhouse. But I said that, you know, you're going, so let me also partake. But when I saw that this person was feeling very uneasy because the angels have gone away, I quickly went, purified myself and came back. Please, we do not feel this, the dying person or the person who is dead during ghusl. That's why it's also said that the person who are giving ghusl, they themselves should not be in the uh, state of najasat. Don't go near the dying person or the dead person if you are najis. Please stay away. It is for their good. Because they feel it, you do not know. Sallallahu alayhi wa wa alayhi Muhammad. If you want to know how to make death easy, refer to the chapter on death in Manazul Akhirah. There are many mentioned, I will just skip. Bullet points. One, Silatul Raham. Two, obedience to parents. And I tell this to myself, all of these pointers, before I tell others. Because even Shafa'at might not help. How? There was a youth who was a Sahabi of Rasulullah. At his deathbed, Rasulullah came and he says, he instructed that youth, say the kalima. He didn't say. Thrice, Rasulullah repeated. He didn't say. Rasulullah looked. On the side was his mother, old woman. He says, are you his mother? Yes. Are you angered with him? Yes, Ya Rasulullah. But if you say, I'm going to forgive him. So Rasulullah says, please forgive him for me. So the mother forgives him. As soon as the mother forgives, he's able to say the kalima. Even the nearness of Rasulullah couldn't help him to say the kalima. So then the Rasulullah asks, what happened? Tell me. He says, Ya Rasulullah, there was an ugly man who was holding me by the neck, choking me. I couldn't say anything. He was holding me down. That's why I couldn't say the kalima. You know, we hear that for Fir'aun, at the last time, while he was drowning, he wanted to accept Islam. But Malakul Maut and the angels quickly came and filled his mouth so that he doesn't accept Islam. Or come. So at the last moment, especially when Iblis is also coming, trying to this, and you are unable to profess your belief, even with the help of a ma'asoom, it's not going to help you. It's not going to help us. Two more things. One, ziyarat of Imam Rada. Because it is narrated that those who go for his ziyarat, the least of the places where he is going to come and help you, he's going to help you Come and help you at the most horrific times of the hereafter. But the easiest one of those horrific places is death. He's going to come and protect you. Imam al -Rada. And another, Zarat al Ashura. We have all heard that story, that woman. Because who used to read Zarat al Ashura? Because of her, her neighboring graves were even forgiven. Again, tamassuk bi al ahl al bayt. Today is Friday. We talked about death. Do you know one thing? Friday is the day of the 12th Imam. And Thursday night and Friday, two things are recommended. Remembering the death, remembering death and the dead, remembering the 12th Imam. Do you know? They share something common. Death is something 
that you cannot deny it's going to come and when it comes if you are ready for it you're going to be happy 12th imam same thing those who don't believe don't believe he is going to come it's a fact that's going to happen and if we are ready for it we're going to be happy when he comes and with death if we are not ready for it we're going to be very very sad that oh imam has come now or oh death has come i'm not ready so the key thing is if we prepared ourselves for death know that you have prepared yourself for the death tomorrow simple now one thing also with death shabe jumha you remember aba abdullah why because through his sacrifice he turned something that seems to be death into ever living life that's the connection of imam hussein with death he flipped death into life and anyone who holds on to aba abdullah he turns their death into life simple any other person you will see they die they'll forgotten this today brother azgar's pupo who is she being recognized by her husband who is the author of 14 sitare what is that work ahl al bayt's work he was a zakir of imam hussein baba even till today you know him uh, brother azgar's father baba everybody knows why aba abdullah has kept him alive but afsos the way how they treated aba abdullah on the plains of karbala afsos it is narrated that on the day of ashura imam sadiq says the body of aba abdullah resembled that of a hedgehog you know porcupine hedgehog there is nothing but spikes you see on that body you know we hear this that what a connection imam hasan and imam hussein has imam hasan had arrows on his body but aba abdullah had his body on the arrows now let me ask you this what us maa ke dil pe kya guzri hogi jis maa ko hum pursa dete hain bibi sayyida fatima zahra ko who we know in narrations was there and was saying oh my son aba abdullah it's time now come when the call of the lord came ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna irja'i ila rabbika radiyatan mardiya aba abdullah it's time for you to come who has come to welcome you allah himself has come to welcome you who else has come to welcome you Rasul Allah the grandfather who who Aba Abdullah used to call Aba Amir al-Mu'minin has come to welcome you Imam Hasan al-Mushtaba Bibi Fatima al-Zahra they are all there to welcome you but what kind of a welcoming this is going to be Aba Abdullah falls from the horse Sayyida Fatima is sitting on the floor sweeping the ground oh my hussein come i am cleaning this place come i am here welcoming you in my arms shimar comes he does what he does the atrocities on aba abdullah start one after the other this is not ashura i am not going to mention the masaib of ashura it's not that shimar comes and he does what he does one hour they tortured aba abdullah while he was on the while he was on the ground one hour they tortured him don't we hear 
some who could get swords, they would throw swords at him. Who did not have anything would collect stones to come and hit Aba Abdullah. One hour they tortured him. It is said in narrations and some Zakirin say during this hour when they were torturing Aba Abdullah, one after the other, these five Panjitan, one after the other, they start leaving. Why? Rasulullah, there comes a point in time, he says, My son Hussein, I cannot bear it any longer. Rasulullah says, I am leaving. There comes a point in time, Hassan Mustafa says, Brother, I cannot handle it anymore. He leaves. Amir al Mu'minin says, My son, I cannot see them torture you like this anymore. Amir al Mu'minin leaves. The only one who stayed with Hussein was this mother. Imagine mother and son right in front of her eyes. They did what they did to the son. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajihun. Ridham bi qadaihi wa tasliim an lihamrih. Allahumma inni asaluka bi haqqi fatimata wa biha wa ba'liha wa baniha wa sir al-mustawdih fiha. أن تقضي حاجاتنا وتشفي أمراضنا اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج Oh Allah, hasten the reappearance of the 12th Imam Oh Allah, help us, assist us, give us the tawfiq to prepare for death and for the coming of the 12th Imam Make us such that our actions are such that when our Imam looks at us, he says, yes, this is our Shia. Make our way such that when Ahl al-Bayt look at us, they say that, yes, you are Zenith for us. Oh Allah, those of us who are sick, cure them. Those of us who are distressed, remove their distress by the highest distress one, our 12th Imam. O oh Allah, those of us who are in jails without any good reason or their only reason for being jailed or tortured is being the lover of Ahl al-Bayt, I ask you by Imam Zain al-Abideen, help them return them back to their homes. O oh Allah, those of the Mu'mineen and Mu'minat who cannot have children, we ask you by Ali al-Asghar, fill their jolies with kids and those kids who are ta'abedar kids. Oh Allah, those who have kids, give the kids the tawfiq to follow the path and walk the path of Ahl al-Bayt. Oh Allah, last but not the least, our obligation, not mustahab, our obligation towards Ahl al-Bayt Help us fulfill it by calling us to their shrines every year. And if not, at least the minimum required, which according to narration is at least if we are beggars, once in two years that we go and visit them and we fulfill our covenant towards them. <laughs> Let's recite five times Amma Yujib for all the people who are sick and especially for the 12th Imam because this ayat is especially for him. So for the faraj of the 12th Imam, for the sickness of all those mu'mineen and mu'minat who are sick, join me in reciting this ayat karima five times. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim أما يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه ويكشف السوء 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 اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Thank <laughs> you.